Yes, Lord. I've learned a, a quick prayer. I'll teach it to all you really quickly. Okie dokie, Lord. Okie dokie. Lord, I love your heavy, drunken glory. Lord, I love it. Lord, thank you, Father, for more of the heavy, weighty, drunken glory in this house today. That's my favorite little bit of you, Jesus. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. is the bliss, is the joy, oh, yeah, yeah. you know, Isaiah 35, it says, you will be overtaken by joy, that means taken over by joy, that means possessed by joy, oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord, oh, yeah, yeah. oh, my goodness, thank you, Lord, uh, sometimes the Lord, the, you know, I used to have a teaching gift, <laughs> I don't have a, a good gift of uh, getting struck mute in the middle of a service. One of those few guest speakers who you invite in, and then you may not be able to speak. <laughs> huh. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, Lord. Well, today, um, just invite, we just thank you, Lord. That, that we have these little fat friar tuck bartender angels that travel around with us, and they wheel in the barrels from heaven. Some healing angels that come. But let me tell you, these little fat friar tucks, they start on your legs yanking on your arms you better watch out you know we need a little help around here i think it's okay to talk about the angels in the church amen yoing 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 help we need somebody help i mean if we think we can get oh just let's just focus on jesus don't talk about the angels just focus on jesus don't talk about human beings or animals or any other creature the lord's created <laughs> i think maybe we need to learn a little bit more about the spirit realm what do you think I think maybe the more our eyes are opened up to that realm of his glory, hoi, 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 mm, things are going to be a little more easier, a little more cream and butter on our feet. Oh, thank you, Lord. Whoa. Lord, I want to do it your way. I want to do it the highway. I want to do it the right way. I, wanna, I want it to get done. Hoi, hoi. <laughs> Lord, I, I just want to, you know, your efforts are not necessary. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. Amen. Say my efforts are not necessary. I want to talk this morning a little bit about the ecstasies of God. There's a realm of God's glory uh, of signs and wonders that are being poured out. We're seeing just incredible stuff everywhere we go. I mean, I was just in uh, uh, South Carolina this week, and, uh, you know, me, the great healing revivalist, I catch the flu, and I'm up there, and I'm, I'm, I'm preaching, and I've got the flu, and I'm just thinking, Lord... Because um, people are, are like losing weight, weight loss miracles. People are like holding their pants out, um, metal pins and things melting people's legs. People getting healed, and I've got the flu. And I, Lord, I'm praying for all these people, and I'm seeing all these miracles. But Lord, why won't you touch Johnny? Why don't you put it some in Johnny's plate? Lord, Johnny, Johnny's hungry for a meal. Lord, give Johnny his. Yoing, yoing, yoing. You see, you gotta understand. You already got yours. Say, just, you just gotta. You, you, why work for what you've already got? You've already got it. <laughs> we just gotta get gotten, Lord. I just get, just get me. Just get me. Come, Lord, get me right now. We just want to be overwhelmed, over, over, absolutely whacked, slosh, slippity slap. Just fill us up, Lord God. We wanna, we wanna just ride, Lord, that glory train. I thank you, Father, that what's happening is not a work of man. It is not a traditional work. It is not gonna be in the bounds of con, of tradition, conventionality, or religion. Not man-made formula. Not theological or doctrinal understanding, Lord God. But what you're releasing, the mysteries in that realm of heaven. It is a wildfire. It is a fire that. Is under our control it is going to spread where it wills and lord we ask that you would come and fully possess us fully use us i thank you lord that we are a wildfire generation that is going to be absolutely consumed by the bliss of heaven the ecstasies of god and the fullness of the truth of the living god we're oh lord we just want to <laughs> so all i have to say i mean i like miracles <laughs> Earlier this year, we were in uh, we were in Cleveland, Ohio. A lady's plastic eye, glass eye—I don't know—our artificial eye. She began to see through it. We were in San Diego, California. A guy would—I mean, we see deaf ears open up all the time, but this guy with no hole in his ear started to hear, right? And he still didn't have a hole in his ear. <laughs> he heard, but no hole. The hole didn't grow. He just got his hearing, hearing with no parts. <laughs> 
couple weeks ago, I'm just going to tell you guys a few stories to whet your appetite. Uh, just a couple weeks ago, I was, uh, you know, how many of you guys know Je have heard Jeff's bilocation story where he showed up two places at once? All right. Do you know throughout church history, there have been many saints who show up more than one place at a time. Like you show up, two of you, two Johnnies, two Jeffs, right? So we've been pressing in for this for a while. Lord, we want to bilocate, revelate, lev levitate, you know, third heaven. Uh, just give it all to me. I want everything, Lord God. I want everything from it. Just pour it out. Dump it on, you know, I want it. And so, so we're, we've been pressing in for this for a while. I showed up in Ireland, although I was in Georgia. This just happened a few weeks. Happened actually on my birthday in August. Uh, I wake up, and uh, uh, I didn't even know this, but my, uh, uh, some associates of ours were in Ireland. We were supposed to go to a meeting in Ireland. Associates are there. They're preaching in Ireland. And, uh, and he looks over, and, and they had been feeling like I was there all day. They were kind of joking around. They were like, the spirit of Crowder is here with us today. You know, like the spirit of Elijah. Is it, I'm not Elijah. <laughs> and he looks over, and then, and then there I am. I'm standing in the meeting, and he's surprised. He thought that I had actually just, you know, changed my ticket, come anyways, because I was originally supposed to be in Ireland with these guys. And so, uh, and then he looks again, and then I disappeared. And he says, that's strange. So he tells everybody, that's really strange. I just saw Johnson. And then he looks, and there I am again. And so I appeared there, but I was actually in Georgia at that time. You listen, guys, there's a realm in the spirit where all things are possible. There's a realm in God's glory that's outside of physical you know, limitations and possibilities, outside of the natural laws of physics, outside of the laws of gravity, outside of the laws of this physical universe. You see, Jesus talked about a generation uh, through Isaiah. Isaiah prophesied that there was a generation without eyes to see or ears to hear or hearts to perceive because they were walking under a cloud of stupor. It's li literally walking under this cloud of living by natural limitations. Because we disbelieve in the greater reality, which is this realm of God's spirit. You see, that reality is more real than everything around. Everything around you is Plato compared to the solidity of that realm and the reality of that realm. And you see, uh, things like bilocation, showing up multiple places at once. My, my wife, that morning uh, when, we, when I bilocated, she had a dream that we were planting two seeds. <laughs> we were planting two seeds at the same time. How, how would you like your work to uh, suddenly multiply? How would you like to multi-locate? And all of a sudden, there's boom, boom, many of you clone me, you know? <laughs> oi, oi, oi. <laughs> Guys, there, there's such a realm of the supernatural. But, but, you know, above it all, I mean, I will take any day over the week, uh, uh, you know, I'll take over a miracle, I'll take the heavy drunken glory. You see, that, that is the secret source of success. Get whacked. Stay whacked. Never go back.